3D printers have skyrocketed in popularity over the past decade. They've become extremely easy to learn, people are finding more ways to apply them in everyday life, and a high quality unit is now more affordable than ever. Eastwood is now offering our very own 3D printer, the Genesis FDM. Let's go right into it. First off, who's this unit for? This is a budget-friendly model, perfect for the beginner or really anyone who needs a simple but robust unit. The printer has a generous 738 cubic inch print volume area capable of supporting 8.66 inches by 8.66 inches by 9.84 inches. That's perfect for brackets, decorations, parts organizers, funnels, buckets, pretty much anything you can think of, there's usually an option to print it. Speaking of that, there's a ton of websites that offer model files completely for free. Thingiverse and Printables are my personal favorites. I recently printed a cover for my emergency gas shutoff at my house and found it right on Thingiverse. You can also do prototyping on this machine, print something here, check to see if it works on your project, and then send your design to a manufacturer for the final version. Bottom line, there's a ton of cool things you can do with 3D printers. All right, so now I wanna get into the features of this unit and show you why it's a great option. First thing, it's ultra silent. All you can hear is the cooling fans pushing the air. We've been running these inside the office for the past couple weeks, right next to employees working, and we've had no complaints. We're actually running one right now next to me and you guys can hear me totally fine. It has an easy to learn user interface displayed on a 4.3 inch color LCD screen. That means simple navigation when changing settings or loading parts. It heats up extremely fast, from room temperature to printing in under three minutes. Less time waiting around, more time printing. There's a ton of different filament options out there, but for this unit, you'll get optimal performance with the most common filament types, PLA and PLA+. On the bottom of this unit, you have the build plate. One side of the plate has a plain glass coating, and this is great when you need a perfectly flat surface to print on. However, what we use more often is the top coated side. This allows for better adhesion when printing, but both are good options. The plate has fully adjustable bed leveling screws, which is ideal for fine tuning to ensure you get prints that are nice and flat. One nice feature about this build plate is that it's heated. Why is this important though? The first layer of your print can really make or break a project. This ensures better adhesion. It comes with a Bowden drive extruder, simple and great for stability printing at increased speeds compared to direct drive units. That extruder comes with the industry standard brass 0.4 millimeter nozzle. This unit has an aluminum extrusion frame and gantry, which means it's lightweight if you need to move this unit around your house or shop, but it's extremely rigid. The last thing you need to know about this unit is that it has an adjustable tension, belt-driven, horizontal movement axis. Again, this is nice because of the near silent operation and extended belt life. We're gonna be doing a ton more videos on this unit and really go into the details about tuning, operation, best practices, and even troubleshooting. I wasn't kidding when I said we've been running this all the time. About eight hours a day, five days a week, we've been printing all sorts of different objects using this printer. If you wanna learn more about this unit and why it's a perfect beginner printer or what you can do with this machine, then click the link at the end of the video or in the description to check out eastwood.com.